That's the strongest point here. If you go central, ELG has to. There's no one really near them, I suppose. They do have to come downhill. So they'll be exposed to any people on the south, but the south so condensed. This is what happens. He's one on one. Ernie. Whoa. Dangerous player. Finally put down by Cool Boy. It looks like XQF have won that battle unless G9 can do something. No, it will be RRQ Athena down. Oh, he's loving life, I say that. There's a response and finally he's put down. Not laid to rest just yet. Fireboy, you can see the grenade. Oh, the he cycled nade. it. It's in hand. Smoke, it's up, it's over. Does it do any damage? Ronak, he falls. Hits the deck as Ming answers back onto Paraboy. The grenades are being thrown across an XQF. They're just at the mercy of every single team looking onwards towards them. Yeah, and we are down to four teams now. Sixless still doing damage. Where is Sixless? Sixless in all of this. How is he still alive? He's up towards the northwest, kind of more west than anything. He's been such a nuisance to so many of these teams. And his team fell so early still on going. leader again. He's still going. What is this? Where is he in all of this? It's on the angle. Behind enemy territory, so he's a solo player. Still holding it down for his team and also bridging him into the top four. Fair play, fair play. Top esports after that last performance may be feeling super confident because they've come out of this and in a really nice spot for Alive still have that southeast side control here. And they've been doing some damage. They've been getting some kills. That's years towards Ming. Ming down again. Not ideal at all. Sixless creeping forward. You can see Ming there bleeding out. Confirmed. That's Cool Boy picking up, so they get the points. Kills in the bag for years. Another one falls down. Sixless does confirm it. Picks up the point. Nine kills so far for TES. This is a brilliant game. A win on the board. Which should sit them pretty at the top, potentially. Depends. RRQ and XQS final position in the final Ooh, point. Sixless. Sixless again and again. This guy's the assassin. Look at him, Cat has no idea. Sixless appears from the grass, destroys the opponent, and fades back into black. Looking for the next way forward, but the blue's pushing him forward. Does he still manage to keep doing this? Nades coming through now. XQF looking worse for wear. Surely this is a TES game, but I wouldn't put it past him. There he goes. A valiant attempt from Sixless, but Cool Boys had enough. And now we're down to two teams. Six players currently alive, but you can see the vast majority of them. TES maybe spurred on from their last game, feeling that confidence, seeing what just one of their players can do. Let's find out what four can. Cool boy trying to get to cap before the bleed out's there. I think, oh, they've allowed him to get the heal, which is fair play. The res should be a real one. Spraying through the grass, trying to find. They have a, a clear idea of where they're going to be, at least. But top, they have four players, and they have all the utility in the world to use. It's utility time. It's nade time. XQF against the odds here. It's a 2v4. It looks unlikely. Top Esports has every angle covered. This would have to be a heroic performance from Cool Boy or Cat. And I just don't see it happening. Quiet before the storm. We're out of the time. The yep. It's time to go. TES, they know they can just wait this one out. They have the players. They have the position. Can they finally get that win? Cool Boy and Cat working their way forward. Slowly but surely, their backs are to the blues. So they have to creep slightly further in. They're going towards the southern side. But did they spot White Cat? Yes, they did. Cat beside Cool Boy. Going to try and help out there. You can hear the shots ringing through. White Cat's found a bit of cover. Not going to be spotted out this time, but now they know their positions. This is where it gets deadly for XQF. Cat and Cool Boy. Nades start coming in. White Cat's on the move as well. Every time they fire, they give it away the position even further. That's why the nades are starting to ring now. White Cat's still damaged. Touching from that blue, we will be going oh, down. What? There's one, Lauren. Cat's got one. No vest, but still has a helmet. So damaged, so broken. Not able to get the confirmation on that knock, but that's beyond the point here. Cat and Cowboy just trying to stay alive, trying to do everything they can. There's the confirmation. And now it begins.
a three on two. It suddenly becomes so much more possible. This becomes truly doable if they can get that first pick, but here comes the blue. It's time to move forward again, slowly, but surely. Oh, can you believe it? It's a two on two out of nowhere. Fireboy is just watching his team get slaughtered. What's happening? The blue's now moving in. XQF, suddenly, you could argue they have the upper hand here, but their gear is so broken, so damaged. Can they do anything with this? Where's that next spot? Cat looks for the peak, spots out years, takes him down. Here comes the counterplay though. Toppy spots on the push. Spotting out one. Cat goes down. It's Corvo. 